Welcome. I'm Lisa Curtis, a licensed clinical social worker and a credentialed alcohol and substance abuse counselor. I know we've already gotten several days into January and maybe you are several days into your dry January or sober curious January. I don't know. But I had a little bit of a technical issue. My computer up and died. I don't know why, but that's not what this is about. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what it means and some of my concerns around a dry January. If you've chosen it, and today is the ninth, so maybe you're already well into your your period of not drinking, and perhaps you've not found that to be an issue, and that would be great. I, and I, I really would be really happy for you. If, however, you're still struggling, or if you're finding yourself needing a drink to avoid withdrawal symptoms, keep on listening. So let's start with the second part. If you're finding that you're unable to stop without having physical side effects, like shakes or tremors, nausea, vomiting, some other not pleasant ones that I'm sure you've seen by now, you probably could use some medical help. Just as a medical protocol, if you've not done this before and you're trying it now and you're having side effects, that's not good. The last thing you want, that you want, I'm sure, is to have a seizure. So please, if you haven't already consulted a medical professional, please do so now. If you're struggling from the point of view of, I just feel uncomfortable, I don't know how to hang out with my friends, I'm not sure what's going on, let's talk about that for a minute. I like dry January in that it gives a little bit of, actually quite a bit of credibility to taking a break from drinking. As somebody who specializes in working with addiction and so substance substance use issues, they've changed the names over the, the time period I've been working. It's nice to have it be something that is much more sanctioned and much more commonplace. Whether you choose to do that in January or June or September, that's up to you. But the fact that you're even beginning to think about it tells me that your relationship with alcohol is something that you'd like to just step back from and take a look at. And that's great. So one of the things that happens for a lot of people when they do that is that they discover that folks in their lives may not be so keen on supporting them. Maybe they won't be keen because it triggers their own stuff, or maybe they're not feeling so keen about it because they don't know how to socialize with you outside of the drinking. Either way, it's it's a really useful time to take a look and to, to begin to examine whether or not these are relationships you want in your life or how you may want to rework them. It's okay as we get older, which we're all doing every day, it's okay to begin to reassess relationships. As a matter of fact, it's just downright healthy. The other thing that you may discover is that it's actually not all that hard. Maybe your relationship with drinking had gotten to that place where it's no longer something that you feel like you want or need. It, it's sort of maybe something that you've outgrown or just feel like it just doesn't match up with the person you're about to become or you're in the process of becoming. And that's okay too. If you're finding it a little bit difficult and you're finding like, I really am struggling. There are lots of places to get support. I know the cliche one is AA, but there are other choices out there and you can go find them. Um, any quick Google search will get you there or getting yourself connected with a therapist might be useful. So with those things in mind, please know I wish you well on this journey for dry January. If you have any questions or if you have any follow-ups that you want me to address, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to drop another line here. My email address is lisacurtis445 at gmail.com. So L-I-S-A-C-U-R-T-I-S 445 at gmail.com. Okay, or you can of course check out my website, www.lisacurtislcsw.com. I look forward to seeing you soon and I wish you well.